Representative Eskimani, you're recognized. Thanks so much, Mr. Speaker. I, I first just want to make for the record that no one back here is laughing or raising their eyebrows because this is a very important issue. So I, I, I want to clarify that. And I don't think it's appropriate to draw those assumptions when the floor channel can't see us back here. So let's be thoughtful to that, members. Second of all, many of you know that I'm an Iranian American. And so this issue is very sensitive to me because I absolutely agree with the concerns of holding countries like these, Iran under the current regime of the Islamic Republic accountable and ensuring that we do not allow them to have any type of influence in our government, influence in our systems. And if anything, as we pass on this House floor, we push members of Congress to do more to fight for a free Iran. And the same mentality is held with my Cuban brother and sisters for their government, for those identify as, as Venezuelan, for those that, of course, are Chinese Americans who leave China to come here to live and experience the American dream. And so no members, no one is laughing, and no one, no one is, is not aware of the seriousness of this. And for those who serve in our military, I thank you. Because freedom is not free, and we have to protect our borders. And following the tragedy of September 11th, this country, 45 days later, passed the Patriot Act in a bipartisan fashion. And following that decision, there have been many concerns between the lines of security and freedom. And so those are the questions we grapple with. Those are the conversations we're having, and that is what many of us are debating, is what is that balance? How do we strike the best balance where we don't have what are unattended consequences where we could be discriminating against someone who looks Asian because they want to buy a house? And so I thank the bill sponsors for the amendment yesterday because I, I do believe it, makes, it tries to uh, strike that balance. It, it tries to be thoughtful and intentional. It's listening to community feedback, so I thank you both for that. I will say that I still have concerns with the criminal penalties because we could potentially be creating an environment where someone does not want to sell to someone because they're Asian American, because they will also help be held liable for that. And, and it, that will create a discriminatory environment for anyone who looks Asian American. And as an Iranian American, I have been called a terrorist. I have been called uh, a, 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 you know, a foreign spy. I've been told as recently as this week on my Facebook page to go back to where I came from, despite the fact that I was born and raised in Orlando. And so those are the realities for many of our community members who are navigating constant discrimination, whether you experience it or not. And so I just encourage members to be thoughtful to that. Thank you, Mr. Speaker.